Addicted to the Outdoors begins now. We head off to Africa to hunt with our friends Kylie and Troy Matthews. Yeah, Troy and Kylie have put together a great package for us. It was a 10 day hunt. We made it happen. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> it's just exciting and it wasn't even my first trip. So we want your entire safari experience to be enjoyable and for you to see and do as much as you can. Now that they're here and hunting with us, I think we're probably more excited than they are about being here hunting. Gina heard that someone from the crew you know, got ill. We took her to the hospital twice to try and see if they could figure out what's going on with her. The life with the Brunsons is never boring. We got a lot more Africa headed your way. Africa part two, it is only going to get better. Gene and I are finally getting back in the blind. We're gonna whack and stack this afternoon. Whack them and stack them. Hey Gina, it looked like it was pretty slow that day. Were you uh, planning on shooting one of those pigs that was coming in? Well, you know, actually I hadn't planned on it, but after a while, they were looking pretty good. <laughs> Zebra, water bug, and some warthogs coming in, but nothing came in quite in bow range. Our day is winding down very fast. Crossing our fingers. It's a steam bug. Unfortunately for him, he presented me with a really good shot. So I took it. Yes! I actually thought that I missed it because the arrow went right through him and it just stuck in the log right behind him. Holy, hey, I finally went through something. <laughs> That was fast. Muzzy Easton Phantom Limb Saver. <laughs> you know, when you have a cameraman go down uh, or camera woman, uh, you know, usually one of the first problems you have is getting caught off guard because, you know, you're trying to hunt watch animals and you got to reach over and get the camera situated. But, uh, you know, we had some zebras come in and, and man, we were Barney fifing it, trying to get everything situated and get on them zebra. Hunting with John is pretty intense. You have to be a professional hunter, a cameraman, and everything else. Our <laughs> recording. John put the arrow exactly where he was supposed to put it, and we had a very short follow-up. Three, welcome to the dead zone. On the money, as you say. On the money. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, start off, Matsumi. Got the star. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Buck, uh, Wellington, uh, wildebeest skewers, Ooh. a shoe, a nice potato and onion. Janina's not here, so she doesn't get to eat. I'll eat her food. <laughs> Which one's liver? Liver. One of those is liver. One of them is liver. Oh, I'm not eating that. 
Okay, I've been trying everything, so I'll try everything. There you go. There's my grill. Yes, liver. I am a big meat eater, but me and liver, we just don't get along. So I had to nip that right in the bud. I'm gonna try it. Ugh. Wait, I gotta have some sauce on it. Oh, I don't know, it smells bad. Well, let me even see if I like that sauce. What'd you say, John? It tastes like liver. Does it got that gritty liver taste? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm bailing. Okay. <laughs> abort, abort! <laughs> <laughs> Gene, is there any meat that John won't eat? Um, apparently, he won't eat liver. You gotta try it though. Nope. You, you like meat, you like different stuff. It just, to me, it just has an a aftertaste. Like liver. <sighs>so much that it was slow it's just you know running the camera yourself uh, you know me and Chris it, it makes it tough so we missed some opportunities I mean for sure because uh, we just couldn't make it all happen 
Um, but, you know, this old Impala came in and he was skin and bones. And Chris looked at me and said, man, this thing needs to go down. And, uh, well, at that point, I was ready to oblige. We decided to take it as a management Impala. Congratulations, John. You made a perfect shot on this old guy. Man, he's a real old, old Impala. Tracking jobs are getting easier and easier. <laughs> <than early shoot. laughs> I'll tell you, we got in that blind, I just sat in my seat, and we look up, and there are animals coming from everywhere. Here comes a big old gem buck. This one was so nice that we decided to, to go ahead and take it. You know what, not everybody gets to shoot a bull like this with a bow, that's that's for sure. This is a bull you cannot pass up in this uh, part of the country. Okay, we, we done yes. it. It is day six, our morning hunt of our Africa trip, but hopefully today we're gonna get to shoot something. It looks extremely promising. Uh, my goal today is a big warthog. Here comes an Impala. Bow hunting. You can't get them all. You know, I just sat down in my seat and we looked up and there were animals coming from everywhere. Uh, my goal today is a big warthog. John, it seems like it took forever to uh, shoot this warthog. <laughs> yeah, it uh, it did. Um, you know, part of the problem was running camera and trying to do all that. You get uh, a little distracted, and the other problem was, man, there were so many animals out in front of us. Every time I thought I had a shot, he'd move, or another animal would walk in between us, and uh, you know, and I wouldn't have a shot. So I didn't know if I was ever going to get a shot at this pig. Is that not a pig? Is that a monster? <laughs> Look at that. Look at this. I'm, I'm so, I'm so happy. Oh my gosh, <laughs> nice. <laughs> This segment is brought to you by Boning. Boning.
your archery equipment source. Let's bring you up to speed. Every different animal in Africa. Uh, my goal today is a big war dog. He is a monster. <sighs> Part of the amenities of Africa is uh, sit back, relax, and do nothing. People ask me, how in the world do you go back to uh, the United States when you've been so spoiled? People take a lot of time to plan this, and we want you to enjoy and have the best journey of a lifetime. Well, we had ourselves a good lunch, and we're gonna get back in the blind and whack us and stack us some animals. It is our seventh morning and we are on our way out to do a little spot and stock with our TCs. We're quickly going to see if we can get a shot at a, a, a blaze buck for Gina, so um, let's go and see if we can do it. Do you have any luck with the, the spot and stock on your hunt, Gina? Man, you know, we got on them for a little while, but there are a lot of eyes out there and we just couldn't make it happen. We got on a good kudu for Gina, and uh, after a pretty lengthy stalk, we finally got her in a position she could take a shot at this thing. Good hit. He's down. Wow! Great job. Right in the shoulder. You great, babe. I know. This is a good shot I had. Now you don't have Oh my god. Look at that, babe. TC. This is an old bull. I mean, it, this is one of those three on kudu bulls. If I look at the horns, all the teeth are not really worn. Whoa, the TC put them down. <laughs> we, we started out with a breast buck and killed the kudu. That's good going. <laughs> <laughs> We headed out that afternoon on another spot in stock, but uh, man, we just cannot get close to those critters. This segment is brought to you by Grizzly Blinds. Grizzly Blinds, adventure guaranteed. We're going to the bush dinner. Well, hey guys, it seems like, you know, Kylie is really all about the African experience. You know, tell me what she had planned for you guys. Uh, well, she, she had a lot of neat things planned for us, but one of the unique things that they do there is one of your nights they'll take you to this place and do a uh, basically a traditional brush or bush dinner is what they call it. And um, it, it, was, it was very interesting. Before dinner, we got a personal tour of the research center. Basically, this is a room where we bring in artifacts that we see in the field that as researchers, as biologists, we see every day. And everything you see here is from the two, found on the two reserves. We're situated right now on the Holoquina River Reserve. And we also have um, Holoquina Mountain Reserve as well.
it's always a treat to try you know local flavors from around the world. How was it with them? Uh, food was awesome. Vegetables and rice and lamb. Some of the stuff was different, but uh, very good. And um, man, meat-wise, I think we ate everything over there. It was it was incredible. Anything <laughs> meat-wise that we ate that we didn't like. Yeah. <laughs> Start over again? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Ooh. Um, hang on. Yeah, I was in the We're going to take pictures with John. With my big Nikon. <laughs>